So how do you use this flex here in Flutterflow? It just says that if multiple widgets inside the row or column are expended, Flex detects the amount of space each widget will take up. For instance, if you have a widget that's A has a Flex value of 1 and a widget B that has a Flex value of 2, A will take up one third of the available space and the B will two third of the other. So this is very helpful tool when you have to build a responsive web app uh, or even a mobile app, right? And um, it took me a while to figure this out, but I the concept got clear when I read this document here from Flutter. It's called Flexible Class. So in this video, I will show you how to use the Flex actively uh, within the Flutter flow. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive in. So before you get started, it's important that you categorize how you want your child components to be structured or widgets, um, they call in Flutter. Um, so again, there are two ways of doing it, columns and rows. Uh, column being vertical, row being horizontal. And so let's just say we want to stack them up in column structure. So first thing you want to do is add a column. And then here we're going to add a container so that within the container is how the flex principle gets applied, right? So, but in order for the flex to be enabled within the Flutter flow, you want to make sure that the expansion is, um, I think, what is it called? If you hover the mouse over, you can see it. Uh, well, it's getting a little tricky. Oh, there it is. Make the widget not fill the space along the main axis, horizontal row. So that's if you have it shrinked in. I don't know what you call it, but the expansion needs to be expanded in order for the flex to be enabled. Uh, make widget fill the space. Yep, that's basically what it is. So uh, let's go ahead and add another component. I'm sorry, the container. And I'm going to color them so that uh, it's easy to identify. So I'll set this as a primary color. I'll set this as a uh, secondary. And then um, let's add this as territory. There we go. Okay, so once we have that in place, uh, and of course, the reason why this is longer than the others is because I have expanded this particular first container. Also, let's go ahead and relabel them as container one. It's going to be a container two, and this will be a container three. There it is. So we have now three containers. Let's go ahead and expand the other ones as well. Um, and you'll see that they're now equally spread out. Now, let's also make them um, horizontally wide. And the way I like to do things is to have an infinite value so it can go as big as the, uh, the size of the scaffold is what they call it in Flutter. So let's just uh, expand all of them. Also, let me go ahead and add some margins so that we can space out between each of those container. Oh. And then, you know, when you add a lock, I, I, when you click on the lock icon, it basically adds the same paddings across the uh, four corners. So there it is. So you now you have that. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the flex values now. So let's just say we want the container two to be the largest, that's gonna be your hero section. So that's gonna be the double the space than the container one and container three. So let's go ahead and set that up as container two. I mean, the value two under flex, and as you can see now, it automatically expanded. Um, if you're only adding values here, then it's basically the rules are applying here more than the others. But if you do want this, let's say container one to be a bigger than the container three, let's just say twice bigger, you just add that and now you have container one at the flex value of two where the container uh, two is at the flex value of three, which is taking three times the space. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and update this to four and then there it is. So as you can see, again, if you want this bottom one to be three times more than the container one, you can add that and then that adjusted. So as you can see here, it really helps uh, putting different containers in different perspective. The best use case is if you wanted to create, let's say, a header, uh, let's say you're building um, a web app and you wanted to build a header, footer, and the hero section, then the way I would use this is I, I would put this as four. I would add this as container flex value, perhaps one. I don't want my headers to be too big. Yeah, something like that. So I hope this helps. And uh, this is AB from Boston. I'm a professional bubble and a Flutter Flow developer. I hope this video helps. Please leave a comment down below and you have a wonderful day.